everybody, it's Risa and Kevin from Hudson Valley Vintage. We are located at 54 Elizabeth Street in Red Hook, New York, and that's at the Chocolate Factory. Um, and yes, it is, it was a chocolate factory. We're actually in the back of the store tonight because we're still working on this very, very cool dresser that we've been working on for a couple of weeks. And we're gonna do the top tonight. We're gonna do a faux driftwood effect. Now I know I've showed you how to do this before. And there, there's a tutorial on our Facebook page, but we're gonna change the colors up a little bit and we're gonna be doing it on a really big surface. So this is a pretty big dresser. This is the look we're going for. This is actually three different paint colors. And um, one of the colors is already on here. This is, all of the paints we're using tonight are from Fusion Mineral Paint. And um, this base color is called Lamp White. I put two coats on, and um, that's what we're gonna do. First, I'm gonna show you, I, I did this on a piece of cardboard. And um, I highly recommend that when you're doing a technique like this, get a piece of scrap wood, some craft paper or cardboard like this. So I painted this piece of cardboard with lamp white and I'm going to use that as just a little practice to show you what you can do before you go ahead and do the whole dresser. So um, I'm using three colors from Fusion, Midnight Blue, which is their darkest blue. It's like a blue black. I'm going to use Little Lamb. I'm using Lamp White. I've already put some, I've already painted this with Lamp White, but I'm going to use it again. And I brought a little bit of Little Piggy, which is a discontinued color. I was actually looking for um, Cathedral Taupe and I couldn't find it, so I'm going to use this instead if I decide I want to. Okay. So I have a little plate and um, I have a brush. I'm just using a flat synthetic two inch brush. And as you guys know, we always use synthetic because synthetic brushes, for the most part, won't lose hair. One comes out every now and then. Yeah, I actually had a piece right here that I got out right before, right before we came on. So I'm gonna take some of the lamp white, put it in my plate. I'm going to take some of the little lamb, put it in my plate. Now you can see the, the lamp white is a really light gray, almost a white. And lamp white and little lamb is like a medium gray. And then the midnight blue is a blue black. I don't need much of, of any of it because I've already painted this lamp white. So if I miss a spot, it's okay because you're gonna see the lamp white. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take some of this lamp white and just pull it aside a little bit and take some of the little lamb and mix it in just the littlest bit. I'm not looking to completely blend it like when you're blending paint colors. And then I'm going to take just a drop of that Midnight Blue and do the same thing. And again, I'm not looking to mix that up perfectly. And then I'm going to sort of wipe off on my plate. It's a semi-dry brush, not completely. And if this was a piece of furniture, I would start off the edge, because that's how I like to do this, and then I would just pull it through. So can you see how you can see the different colors there? Almost like a driftwood. Now I'll take the other side of the brush and pull through again. Um, if you want to do smaller strokes, 
that's fine. But you don't want to go over too many times because you just blend the paint. Yeah, exactly. yeah. So if you go back over it too much, you'll yeah. just you'll just blend the paint, and it won't have a distinct difference. Exactly. And each line will be a little different, and that's what it's supposed to look exactly. like. That's what you want. Now I want to bring in a little bit more of this midnight blue. I don't feel like I see it enough. So I'm going to bring some more of that in. I love that. Isn't that nice? Just how you, it's, it's just a regular and that's what you want. You want it to be a regular. One of the reasons why I want to do a faux driftwood effect is that this is like a beachy themed piece. I didn't think just painting it solid on top would do the trick. And also, um, it was the top of this piece just is in really bad shape. So I did not want to. If you're a crazy perfectionist, this is probably a great thing to break you out of. Yeah, break, great thing to break you out of your comfort zone so you can like, yep, if you can try. So there we go. Pretty cool, right? Um, I think I'm gonna add in a little of the pink for when I go on here. And then if I don't like it, I can always paint over it. So I'm gonna get started on the dresser. So I'm gonna put in a little bit of more of, of the lamp white. Okay, so I'm gonna start here. And I'm going to, I'm actually going to start off the edge a little bit because I want to include the, um, I want to include the lip of that. How does that look? I can't see that well from here. Yeah, I think it looks good. You got, you just got a little schmutz over there on the end. No, off the, yeah, because you're starting off the end. That's fine. blotchy spots that's fine because I have the lamp white on mm -hmm. so you could never do this over just wood you need to paint one of the colors so let's keep going and I did add the little um, little piggy there so I do have a teeny drop of that pink and I think that's gonna be good for this all right so I'm gonna start again going to pull it all the way through and then go back. How does it look so far? How's it looking? Looks good. Okay. And notice I'm not mixing the paint up completely. You want to be able to see the individual colors. So here we go again. It helps to have a sort of, of a steady hand. You don't want to be like curving and stuff like that. You want to be somewhat straight. But again, perfection is not necessary. Before we continue, I ended up painting the sides and I, I was really struggling with what color to paint the sides. And um, I was going to do some blending and I did and I didn't like it. So guess what I did? Paint them solid. I painted over it. See, I'm going to go, I'm going to get a view down this end. So now you can see down the length. How does it look? Looks good. Okay, so let's keep going. So again, I'm not completely mixing my paint. I'm just trying to get the... And this doesn't take a lot of paint either. No, not at all. <clears throat> the most paint it takes is for the... And what you start to see, the, you see the gaps in paint are actually pretty consistent because it starts to show the grain of the wood through. Yeah. All by magic. Or at least it looks like grain yep, of wood. Yep. I don't know if it actually is. Do you think that's actually grain of the wood? We'll see.
So I have done um, faux driftwood with other colors. Mostly I've done it with grays. I wanted to add the midnight blue in because of the um, blue in the transfer. Mm -hmm. um, so you can really do this with any color that you want. What you want to do is pick your lightest color. It's going to be the color that you paint your base in. Then you're going to pick sort of a medium color, which is our little lamb, and a dark color, which is our um, midnight blue. Alright, so here I think is going to be my last row. Well, and like, you got a few blotches. But that's, that's, I, I just think that's because the brush was, had a long, long stroke to it. Okay. Just a little bit of filler. Yeah, that's perfect. Now we do want this appear to be wood grain. Yep, yep. So you do want to nope. keep going. No, it looks direction. like planks. It, ha it has a nice look. Yeah, it looks like it looks like it's got planks in it. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? How do you think it looks? We're going to put the drawers in so you can see what it's going to look like. So I'm still going to put um, a top coat on this. I'm going to use Fusion Mineral Paints Stain and Finishing Oil in white. All right, so Kevin's going to... Um, Put the drawers in so you guys can see at least a better idea of what this is gonna look like look at that wow I like the top. I think that when we finish it with the um, white stain and finishing oil, it's gonna look really good. We will see you guys soon. Take care, everybody.